latest episode of the Ports of Manager Mood. In the latest episode, we are taking on Leighton Orient, as you can probably see now. Of course, these guys beat us for the title last season, which was really annoying. But Antagona has just beat is a tackled um, Leighton Orient player. And then um, Santa Maria, Santa Maria scores his first goal for the club. Santa Maria has got his first goal on the tally for Portsmouth this season. Can Gankor Santa Maria live up to the expectation that a 2.7 million coin bid has brought in? Right, Leighton Orient on the attack in the 65th minute. We have close into Moore, into McCallum. McCallum back into Moore, into Simpson. Simpson's gone past Minor. Simpson shoots and it's in the back of the net. Unfortunately, that is now 1 1. Which really isn't good enough as we really want to be beating Leighton Orient to get paid back from last season. But unfortunately, that is the end of the game. It is now 1-1, which means we have drew it against him, which is not really the best. But at least we've got Gorka Santa Maria getting off his first goal. Getting, getting that first goal off his chest. Which hopefully now he can kick on and get more goals in the future. That is the squad we are playing for the next game. We are playing against Barnsley away from home. I think this, um, I think this will be a tough game here, really. Because Barnsley are an alright side in the uh, League 1. You see, that is our, that's a small confirmation of our squad. You see, you've got Evans playing in right mid. So, Bass is now 69 rate, which is a massive increase from what he was at the start of his career. Right, Barnes, you got kickoff. Good catch by Alex Bass. Alex Bass lobs it up the pitch to Roberts. Roberts sees the run of Santa Maria. Santa Maria's got the ball. Look out for um, Brendan down there, Brendan Barker. He sees the run of Brendan. Brendan's doing really well this season so far. Brendan sees the run of Barton. And Barton makes it 1-0. Barton's first goal of the season, making it 1-0 to Portsmouth. What a great move by Portsmouth there to get the to get the first goal of the game. Alright, it's a free kick now to um Leighton Orient, not Leighton Orient, Barnsley by um Dunn comp um, getting the foul. Right, it's a free kick from Horine or Horihane, don't know, Hurricane maybe. But Scowen's taken oh no, he's not taking it, it's for Horihan and he's got a really good free kick there. Should really do a lot better there, Alex Bass, but unfortunately it's a very good free kick. And it must have just only just gone over the line because it bounced straight back over. Look, look, see that was off the post, hit the goal. Oh, it's unlucky that actually. I'm gonna take that back and say unlucky actually. All right, it's kick off here, and we'll just come to that goal of course. And it's um, we're on the attack again now, and it is George Evans. George Evans is um, running. Pass it into Dunn, who just conceded the free kick that we scored from, we conceded from, and Dunn's got through into Santa Maria. Santa Maria whips it. What a beautiful finish. What a beautiful finish from my new man, Santa Maria. That's his second goal for Portsmouth now, and he's actually starting to turn it up now, which is good because I was getting a bit worried this guy was going to be a flop, and it was 2.7 million and scored a goal in two games. But he started to score now, which is absolutely brilliant. All right, it's Barnsley on the attack in the 28th minute. We've been just scored, he's made 2 1, and Winsor's has beaten Burgess, and great hit round the post by Alex Bass there, and a great season so far. Right, it's a corner to Barnsley. Barnsley going to whip it in any time today. All right, Scoen whips it in. Oh, and it could say, oh, and it's just gone straight back out to their player. It's a great heading save by Alex Bass, but unfortunately, straight back out to their attacker. Right, Barnsley on the attack again at the moment. This has been a mad game so far for goals. Right, can Brendan get that ball? No, he can't. Of course he can't. Right, Watkins into Winnall. Winnall takes on Rico Henry. He's not in the best season, really. And he pushes that back out, and another great save, but he goes straight back out to another attacker, making it 3-2 in the 32nd minute. There's been five goals in 30 minutes. That's amazing so far, but I wish it had been to more my side. I made mean, a short free, short correct throw into, not throw in, but and it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, no, don't. Oh, he just punched it straight back out. Isaac Wankabo into Barton. Barton into Evans. Can Evans do something there? Yes, into Brendan. Into Santa Maria. Santa Maria's putting Santa Maria's got his second goal of the game, making it free free. Can Santa Maria get a hat trick in this game? Because I tell you now, he's on the way to getting one. Right, Santa Maria's on the attack in the 45th minute and with two minutes at a time. Oh my god, his defence is split open. Santa Maria is through. Come on, come on, please. please. Yes! Dan Gorka Santa Maria has got his hat trick. His first ever hat trick for Portsmouth. Will this be the start of his goals coming through? Because if he carries on like this, at style, four goals in two games now, will he be able to carry this on all season? And if he does, Flip and are able to do a really good season. And what's happening here? Oh my God, they've messed up. Gorka Santa Maria is through. He's got four. He's got four. He has four goals today. Four goals. He has blitzed them apart, man. He has blitzed them. Terrible defending there by Barnsley, but that's his fourth goal of the game. It's a free kick to Portsmouth in the 81st minute with a yellow card to their player. 
who was there, I don't know what clue it is. George Smith. Right, what Mo's on the ball. The moment passes it into Dunn. Dunn into Rico. Down to Sander Chetri. Rico's been playing really well, really, for recently for a uh, thingy. I mean, Chetri's on the ball, not really playing well recently. But Chetri has a shot and it goes back out to my man Roberts, making it 6 3. Really good play there by Roberts. And Chetri's contract's run out at the end of the year, so he's got to basically show to me why he deserves to be flipping here next season. So don't expect anything. If he plays well this season, he'll stay. If he doesn't play well, he won't play. Stay. But as you see, Gorkas tomorrow, I get a 9.9. 9.9. That's mad. Anyway, the next game is against Colchester at home. As you see there, the uh, Colchester kit looks alright, to be honest. But there's the team we're playing there. Webster, Minus, Swanker, Bow, Stevens, Antogona, Barton, Bennett, Roberts, Barker and Santa Maria. Hoping Santa Maria can continue on his goal-scoring prowess as to these four goals in that game and the one game goal before that game. Right, Colchester on the attack and it's 2-0 to Portsmouth at the moment. I missed out those two goals. I am very sorry. Anyway, Antagon has got the ball when he sees the run of Santa Maria. Santa Maria is absolutely... Oh, he's absolutely he's dumbfounded the defender there. He has broken his ankles. And Gorka Santa Maria finishes it to make it another goal already to add it into his career so far at Portsmouth, which is amazing. And that guy there, he's in every single game. I swear to God, that FIFA game. He's in every single FIFA game, that guy is. You see, Gorka Santa Maria has scored two goals this game. Anyway, Colchester have got the ball and it's terrible defending there by... Brendan Barker, but why is Brendan Barker marking a player there? Why should he be there? He shouldn't be there. But you see, Antargon have got the first goal and then Santa Maria and then Santa Maria again. But I'm going to kick off into diamond time today. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to complex why my man Brendan Barker is marking. Come on, are you going to come towards me on pussy? Yeah, right, that's 3 1 full time. Of course, Goal Santa Maria got two goals in that game, which is really good. As that's. Six goals in three games, which is amazing. Anyway, there are the scores on the doors after the game. Anyway, YouTube, this is the end of the episode. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe for all future videos. And goodbye.